Now we are really talking up our interns in this episode. Why? Because they deserve it. A mobile art gallery is the topic of our next intern produced segment. Here, a super cool converted box truck travels around Denver with some really neat ideas about creating and selling art. Avery Wallahan worked on this story during a recent summer internship. I like to keep it street. I could really shine this up and get all jazzy, but people, they see this art, they equivocate it with street art, so why not kind of just be part of the streets when you're out there? The MAG is an acronym uh, for Mobile Art Gallery. It's a 79 Chevy step van. What we do with the MAG is uh, we get up every week and we find a different spot in Denver to go to to uh, display and show artwork. When there's a will, there's a way. I'm not a big fan of the gallery model. It's there, it exists for a reason, but I didn't feel like I was there yet as an artist, but I still wanted the ability for the general public to see my work. And, you know, when an idea hits you, it just, it just hits you from every angle. And when all of the pieces kind of presented themselves to me, it just made perfect sense. I'm letting people pay anything for these. Anything they want. Make me an offer. In the 70s and 80s, graffiti was really big, and I went around and took photos of a lot of graffiti. I used to copy a lot of graffiti from other artists, and people started calling me a forger, and so I ended up uh, tagging Forge. I just said, I'm gonna own that, you know? Everything you see black here is gonna be silk screened over it, so Neil deGrasse will, will appear in there, and then I'm gonna play with the word science and drop that on him. So he's gonna be saying, science! I grew up in, in New York City. I, I grew up walking around billboards, you know, that are eight, ten stories tall and advertising everywhere you looked. You know, these icons are so ingrained in our, our culture, Popeye, Mighty Mouse. When you decide to take those images and put them into a, an art piece, it's considered pop art. And pop art is popular art, popular culture. So I'm really a pop artist and I'm okay with that. Uh, Hiroshima is the name of this piece. The clock in the background is the clock that stopped at 8.17, which was the time that the bomb landed. All electronics ceased to function. Not only am I an artist and an activist, I came up with the term artivist. I uh, use art to motivate people, inspire people, get them to recognize issues, get them to take action. Case in point, Standing Rock. So I did this in support of Standing Rock um, because Sitting Bull does have a posse and it was all the people that showed up at Standing Rock to block the pipeline and the no dapple movement. And, and I worked on it with Taos Pueblo uh, students and other students in the, in the Taos area. And we screen printed these, these uh, banners, t-shirts and, and art. And they ended up going up to Standing Rock. And these are actual Native American teenagers holding up the art that the teenagers in New Mexico did in support of them. And I, I, you know, if I'd ever do anything else in my whole career, I think this is the most significant thing I've ever done. People appreciate art, but the same person that might appreciate art might not ever set foot into a gallery. I think people kind of really like the fact that I'm bringing the art to them rather than waiting for them to come in. I find like a sense of, of kind of wonder that people have when they come in, you know. I can feel them feeling like they're in a unique situation, you know, and it slows them down and it allows them to kind of take it all in. And I've tried to turn it around and say like, how would I feel if I just walked into this? Wow, these guys did this and they did it really well and I'm enjoying art, you know but I'm not at a gallery and I'm not in a museum, I'm just walking down the street to get a taco. And all of a sudden I had this art experience and I'm, 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 I'm richer for that. I just love that whole story, so innovative. And look what we have here from Forge, a custom piece just for PBS. <laughs> 